welcome back to the Man United fan stand. It is another fan cam for you guys. So we have got Kieran on from Red Devil Weekly today. So, well, today it's such a poor result. It was West Ham 3, Manchester United 1. So, anyway, what are your overall thoughts on the game then? Well, I mean, at this point, I'm, I'm not even angry. I'm just, I'm just deflated, really. I mean... You know, after what we saw, you know, against Wolves, you know, a 1-1 draw, and then obviously what we saw in midweek uh, versus Derby, um, I, I did think this result was coming. I mean, in my preview, I thought, boy, I thought we could have potentially won the game because our away form was great. And now our away form's back to being the same as our home form. And uh, it's, 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 it's very worrying in terms of not being able to get top four. Uh, but it's just... It's just depressing that seven games into the season, we're already out of the title race. Like, I, I thought even after the, you know, even after kind of the the loss to Spurs, I thought we could still win the win the title, and we won the the next two games, obviously against Burnley and Watford. Um, and I thought we turned the corner, but we've just gone back into this slump, and we haven't really got out of it. It's really, it's, it, it's it's depressing, and for me, I think Jose Mourinho on the Jose Mourinho front. Uh, because a lot of people are going to be talking about that. I think, for yeah. me, I, I, I don't think he's going to win us anything this season. Exactly. And for that reason, I think he probably... It'd probably be better if we sacked him sooner rather than later. Uh, I, I like to try and take the positives out of it. But today, I just could not take the positive out of it. And also, exactly. the tactics of putting uh, McTominay at centre-back. You know, when we've got Eric Bailly on the bench. I, 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 can't, I didn't understand it. But yeah, I mean... It was a shocking performance from start to finish, and the only positive potentially is that Rashford got his goal. But I, I don't know what's going on in this club. It's an absolute mess. I know. I mean, I, I just really, really don't understand it. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just too much now. I, I am now Josie out. So yeah, are you now Josie out then? Um. Yeah, I, I guess I am. I guess I am. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I kind of, I, I know that Jose Mourinho is probably not going to get sacked at least till Christmas. Exactly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna support him while yeah, he's here. But that is what we have I to don't, do. You know, I don't really like. It's, it's kind of I'm supporting him whilst he's here and supporting the team. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I, I, I personally, I don't think we're gonna, we're, we're gonna succeed. So I get, I guess I'd turn Jose out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I am. I, I totally agree with you there. I mean, yeah, I'm Josie out, but I'm backing Josie. I mean, you know, he, I am Mourinho out, but I think that you know we still do have to back him. It's the same with all United fans. Yeah, we're Mourinho out, but we still have to back the team and the manager and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just really just don't know what happened in our performance today. I mean, Rashford getting the goal, and I mean. We, I mean, we just rushed when we had the ball. We was just really reckless on the ball. Our defence was a joke. I mean, through balls, they played, I mean, I mean, two of their goals were from uh, through balls and stuff for our defence. We left just too many gaps in it. I mean, what are your thoughts on our defence today? Oh, I think, yeah, you hit the nail on the head, to be fair. I think it was shocking. And, uh, you know, at times, I think we started with a back five, although we were playing... Uh, you know, McTominay is one of the centre backs, and to go away to West Ham and play defensive, I mean, it, it, it's I don't know how you can justify that really. And um, I I think that was what our downfall. We we allowed them to come on to us, and they created a chance in the first five minutes and scored. Granted, exactly. it probably was just off something, but I think they they created the chance. They scored the goal. And, you know, we, our, our game plan of being a bit more cautious, a bit more defensive, yeah. got thrown out the window after, you know, after five minutes of the game. And then for the next uh, 85 minutes, you think, yes, we can get back into it. But we have to change everything. And it just, you know, you're not, you're not going to change everything within, like, a click of the fingers. No, it's going to take 20, 25 minutes. So and I thought our defending overall, especially for the third goal, was absolutely shocking. Exactly. I mean... I think, you know, the fact that Arnautovic was able to walk in between our two centre-backs, exactly. which you could drive two double-decker buses through that gap between Smalling and McTominay, I think it was, um, was was shocking. And, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, De Gea couldn't do much about it. I am starting to feel for De Gea. I mean, I felt exactly. for him all last season, but mm -hmm. he just can't do it. Like, last season, he saved us so many points, but this season, he just, he just can't do it all. It's, I mean, it's impossible. I, I don't know. 
I mean, it's just the defence. I mean, we can't blame De Gea from any of it. He is the player. Who, he's literally the one player who is trying right now. It's so hard for him. It's just too much for him, isn't it? T simply too much for him. I mean, it's not De Gea's fault one bit. He's the one player who is actually trying. Simple as. Yeah, exactly. I mean, exactly, yeah, exactly. You know, I, I, I agree, I think. And I think... Um... If, if we if we don't get Champions League football this season, I've got no doubt in my mind that uh, David De Gea is going to leave because yeah, exactly. I think I think he obviously he wanted to become a Man United legend. I think even if he left Man United, I think a uh, in a lot of fans' eyes, he will still be regarded as one of the best goalkeepers to play exactly. for Man United. Yeah. Um, so I think even if he left, I think the, I think the Man United fans would respect the decision yeah. because we're not going Simple anywhere. As. So you know he's. He's the best goalkeeper in the world. He should be playing week in, week out for one, one of the best teams in the world. And yeah. As we simply aren't that anymore. Exactly. And, you know, look, we want De Gea to stay, though, as well. It's just so frustrating. I mean, the players, they just don't want to play under Jose Mourinho. They just don't seem motivated. But the thing is, we need a manager who can get the best out of the players. And that's a damn Mourinho who can't get the best out of the players. So frustrating. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it is really frustrating. And you think, you know, when Jose Mourinho first came to Manchester United, he obviously had the brilliant record in the Premier League, and yeah. you know, everyone was hopeful. But it's, it's, it, I mean, if Jose Mourinho can't get the best out of our players, then you know who is going to be able to? And I think everyone's pointing to Zidane, obviously, and there's some articles coming out today that Zidane's already been already being talked to by Manchester United representatives uh, for the for the Mourinho job. Um, Pochettino maybe he's done a decent job on a tight budget um, at Spurs um, so yeah I, mean, I think those are the kind of main options I've, I've seen a few for uh, I've seen the odds for uh, Sean Dyche to be managing a Man United being cut to like 5-1 to one or something yeah. like that which is something ridiculous yeah. uh, but I, I, I mean I think Sean Dyche yeah he's done alright with Burnley but yeah. I, I wouldn't put him in because he's not he's not United I, I, See, yeah, I do want to see fast-flowing attacking football because you know it's for too long under Moyes, under Van Gaal, and now under Mourinho, we're yeah. seeing you know the same kind of boring football. And I think we need we need a manager who's going to come in and revolutionise the way we play football yeah. and play and their play like a star. And I think I think they will definitely get the best out of players like Martial and Sanchez. And if we can get the best out of them, we'll have a really really strong squad. But at the moment, we just can't. Exactly. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. I mean, it's, it's just so, so frustrating. So, anyway, yeah, thanks for Ed for Weekly uh, for coming on. Yeah, no problem, mate. Thanks for having me on okay. your channel, and hopefully the results get better. Exactly. So, thanks for watching this video of the Man United Fast. I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching.